Hello, everybody, and welcome back to This Week on Campus. Right here, I'm right now I'm joined with Mike Brown, the Western Iowa Tech Student Activities Director. And uh, we're going to talk about the April events we got coming up for this month. I'd just like to ask you right now, how have the events been going the last few weeks or the last month? You know what? Um, they've been good, right? You know, um, I wish we would get more participation, but I think that we're in this environment where students are coming up to campus for specific purposes, and that's classes. Right, and I'm happy for that, right? I think when things loosen up a little bit more, they'll swing by my booth and, and actually uh, participate with a lot of my activities. But, you know, activity has been pretty, pretty good. I had to be um, aggressive with some people, you know, getting them to participate. But it's been fun because it uh, enhances my communication skills. That's very nice. So with talking about the previous events, are you going to be looking forward to any events in April? Yes, um, and of course I, I brought my handy dandy trusty paper here. Um, we got a lot of activities in April ending it off. Um, one of the first ones is something that's dear to my heart. It's called the hookup. It's going to be on, on, on our Facebook uh, Community College Hub page, um, and it's talking about the the pitfalls of hooking up with someone, right? On Western Iowa Tech's campus, I'm a Title IX investigator, right? So, um, and Title IX covers everything from sexual harassment to downright um, rape, right? Mm -hmm. um, and our young ladies on campus, as well as our young men, um, need to be aware of the pitfalls, right? And on Facebook, it's gonna be um, kind of like a skit thing, and then there's a discussion at the end. And I really want our students to get on and, and actually look at it. It's coming up on April 14th. You can go to our Western Iowa Tech Facebook page to find that out. You can also go to our Iowa Community College Consortium Hub um, on Facebook as well. Um, and it just talks about um, how to overcome a problem that you may get yourself into. And that's going to be 7 o'clock at nighttime because uh, we want students to be able to um, not be interfered with classes. Right. So, um, and then we have something coming up real quick. April 6th is National Caramel Corn Day, right? So we will be giving out caramel corn to students. I may put some cheese in there as well, some cheese corn, because can't do the caramel corn without the cheese, because it just, it's too much, right? Um, so, of course, all of my activities are free. Um, we also, on April 13th, we have National Humorous Day, right? And we will get people to tell jokes to the camera, and we will post that on, on, on Facebook and our Instagram. And whoever gets the most laughs and likes will probably get a prize, right? But clean jokes, right? Clean jokes. Um, and then um, after that, April 22nd, we have our annual Festival of Nations, right? COVID has stopped us from doing it last year, uh, which is one of our humongous events on our campus where we have about 33 different countries represented with their food, um, their dress, their culture, dance. Um, it's just an awesome day, and we are gonna bring a smidgen back to the campus on April 22nd. It will be held in the library from 11 o'clock to one o'clock. Um, instead of food, we will be handing out recipes from all these different cultures. And also, we may have a few people dressed up in their traditional garb, um, and then, um, you just definitely go walk through the library and see that there is a little bit of inclusion in there. You know, we'll talk about our students. And our students come from all different backgrounds. And our, we need to make sure that wherever you're from, whoever you are, that you're comfortable on the campus of Western Iowa Tech. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. And there's a few more. You want me to keep going? Got a few more, right? Um, April 22nd is the fourth installment on how students can become leaders. And it's called Growing the Leader in You, Part 4. Um, you must overcome to become. And that's April 22nd from 11.30 to 12.30. It's on Zoom. And we can probably put the links in the, in the, on the air. And um, you can also get those links um, at the hub, on the Facebook hub. And um, on April 28th we, is National Superheroes Day, mm -hmm. right? So we will be setting up a booth and asking students to talk about their favorite superhero with a twist, right? Um, it can be a non-fictional character, 
right? So it could be a mom, it could be a dad, it could be a grandmother, right? Um, because we know there's more heroes around us than just Batman and Superman and Justice League and X-Men. But I'm into that, you know, but reality is there's a lot of heroes that walk around us and are in front of us every day. And, and we maybe fail to acknowledge that, you know, so hopefully we can do that. And then for finals week, the last event of May, early May, right before graduation, we're going to have board game day, which will be celebrated in the library. We have about 20 board games, everything from Operation to Battleship to Shoots and Ladders, Monopoly, Life, Checkers, Chess. I mean, we got it all. And we're doing this so that students can kind of let their hair down, be a little stress reliever, and, and actually have some fun and conversate outside of a classroom setting, right? So that's kind of what we're trying to do with that. And then, of course, graduation is May 13th. Um, it's going to be at the Tyson Event Center. There's going to be three separate graduations because of social distancing. And uh, congrats to all the students that hung in there from since COVID hit, you know, for you to graduate in May is quite an accomplishment because I'm sure there's a lot of students that unfortunately gave up, right? Um, but, you know, they still have a chance to come in and enroll. And um, college is not a race, it's a finishing thing. Mm -hmm. So. Whole, whole spew of events going on yes. in April and then going into May. Yes. Is there, is there any specific events that you're excited for or looking forward to? You know, um, I am looking forward to, not to get ahead of myself, but I'm looking to, forward to fall, right? Looking forward to fall. We have not had an on-campus event with people gathering for a while now. And I do think that when we open up, we gonna open, right? And, and I think the activities will be off the chain. You know, international travel hopefully will come back. Um, Festival of Nations will come back. Um, GLOW, which was the former Whitstock, will come back. You know, and I know Chris um, is, is chopping at the bits trying to get his uh, students more experience. And I think uh, when GLOW comes back, they'll have that, have that opportunity. So I'm excited about the fall. Um, summer, it seems like we're going to open a little bit as far as the gym, um, but we're always going to keep social distancing. We're always going to make sure that it's a healthy option, right? So we're not going to listen to the outside telling us to open, right? We're going to dictate that, and we're going to always err on the side of caution. And um, I'm sure there's a few people that may not like that, but at the end of the day, I feel better with my conscience doing it that way. Whole bunch of good events coming forward to the yeah. future and very meaningful things looking forward to for the future. That's what's up. Is there anything else you'd like to say for the good of the cause today? Man, um, you know, we're almost at finals. You know, students are finding out actually where they sit at as far as grades are concerned. I think the last day to drop classes is May 5th. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's May 5th. Um, I would rather you drop the class than to take an F, right? Um, there's always a way to retake a course. Um, those of you who are planning on graduating, you have to sign up for graduation. You can't, it doesn't miraculously happen, right? You have some um, work to do to order to graduate as far as signing papers. And then also, if you decide to drop a class because grades aren't doing too hot, um, you're not the first one for that to happen to. It's happened to me before as well. Um, make sure that you sign paperwork because you just, you just can't call and say, drop me. Right? And a lot of students feel that they can do that, and then they are surprised with an F on their report card. Right? Mm -hmm. So we want to try to alleviate all of that, make sure that there's a process with everything you do. From dropping classes to adding classes to graduation, there's going to be some paperwork. And if you're not doing the paperwork, then you didn't do it correctly. All right. Thank you so much for coming here today, Mike. It was great to talk to you again. It's an honor, bro. And I absolutely hope everything goes well in the future for opening up the gym and having more students oh, participate. Man. It'll be a huge time. It'll be a It'll huge be time. When everything gets back together. Amen. We'll be right back, right after these messages. <laughs> 